Hi, my name is Craig from QNAP UK. Uh, today I just wanted to do a quick supplemental uh, follow-up video to the Plex Media Server setup uh, video that we already have on the channel. Um, that was set up using our QTS-based operating system, so this time I want to show you uh, basically the one difference that you will, you will come across when using Plex Media Server on our QUTS Hero operating system. Um, so here is a fresh install NAS, uh, very little uh, already done on this one. I'll give you a little uh, overview of the config just so that you can see. Uh, this is a TVS-H1288X. A um, couple of things in here. So in the disks, I've got a couple of M.2 NVMe set up as the system drive. And I've also got some uh, Seagate Ironwolf Pro 12 terabyte drives in a RAID 1 there as the data volume as well. So I've got NVMe's from, from Seagate there and I've got uh, hard drives as well. Um, so that's the basic setup. I don't have any cache acceleration enabled or anything like that with this unit. Um, I'll show you how I've got the storage configured. So here inside the storage and snapshot section, I've got my main storage pool. I've got a supplemental storage pool down here. We've got the one with the hard drives. At the top, we've got the one with the SSDs. And just because this is a demo, I've put my data file, my movies folder um, in a share here called movies. So this is the bit that is different when it comes to QUTS Hero. Navigating your storage on QTS was very easy. You simply go into the shared folder where all the shares are, and you can see them in a list. With QUTS Hero, each share gets its own uh, volume effectively, so you have to navigate through the different volumes to find it. So here I've got one called Movies. If I go look inside that Movies folder, inside File Station here, so here's the Movies one. I've just got a few trailers added in here. Um, so here within the, the trailers folder, we've got a lot of different movies, but it's it's just the movies share with some uh, movies added into it. There's no extra folders within there. But the, the thing we're going to look for is a folder called movies with a capital M at the start. That's what we're going to look for. So if I open up Plex Media Server, all I've done is install it and gone through the wizard, but I didn't add any libraries into the wizard. Um, so here the home screen is empty. So the first thing we're going to need to do is add in a library. So we want to add one for, for films or movies. So if we scroll right down to the bottom here, we can manage the libraries and there's zero libraries added, so we've got no content added. If I click the Add Library button here, I'm going to choose that I want to add films. You can select whichever language you want. I'm in the UK, so I'll select that. And we're going to go to Add Folders. Now, when you click Browse for Media Files, there's nothing here that looks obviously like it's for movies uh, with the capital M that we added. Um, there's a lot of these ZFS um, with a number underscore data folders. And this is where each of the shares are stored. So as we start clicking through, we can see there's the web share that we had. As you click through, there's the public share. So you've basically got to keep clicking through all of these ZFS number files until you see the one with the folder in it that you want to do. It will be different each time. Um, these numbers are assigned as and when you create them. So the first um, uh, three sections that are created are the default created shares. Uh, as you start scrolling down to the higher numbers, you're going to have to look for it there. Now, as you scroll down, it does scroll down the whole box, not the one on the left. So if I click ZFS 31 data, it looks like it's empty, but you've got to scroll up just to double check at the top. So as we keep scrolling down to ZFS 20 data, there we go. Now we can see that that's where the movies folder is located. Um, right after it, because I installed Plex after doing the movies, if I click ZFS 21 data, that's where the Plex data is, the, uh, the metadata for any content that gets added. That's been created in a separate share. So that's how they're all created and listed. Um, but there's no indicating um, naming here on the main root of the, the folders, so you do have to go and scroll through. Once you've got a share created, this number will not change, so you won't have to redo this. It's just if you ever wanted to add another library, you might add a new library and it might come up as ZFS25 uh, underscore data, something like that. So you've just got to look through uh, to find the name of the share that you created. So if I select that one, I can see there's the movie files inside it, so we're going to add that one. We'll go to advanced, we can choose which scanner or which options that we want to use. So Plex Movie Scanner is fine, we can go through. I like to use the movie database for movies. Uh, so we can scroll down and we can just click Add Library. So that's going to go off and look inside that uh, new library that I've just added. It's going to try and update um, the, the thumbnails, grab the metadata for that content. So if we go back to the, uh, the home level and go to Films, so we can see that it's already added quite a lot of them and it's going to keep doing the rest of them as we're looking at it. 
Um, so that's really it. That's that's the only thing that's different with with QUTS Hero compared to QTS. Um, so QTS is just organized a little more simply where you just navigate to the share and they're all listed in one place, very obviously. Uh, with QUTS Hero, just with the architecture of how the ZFS file system functions, um, each each share does get its own volume effectively. Um, so you do just have to browse through those um, those namings that we've got. There's no way to find those namings out when you create a share. So you you do just have to look at it that way. As we don't create the Plex software, uh, we can't influence how easy it is for it to set it up or to navigate the folders. So there's no automatic way we can do this. So you do just have to look through the numbers to find it. Okay, if there's any, any questions whatsoever, please let me know and we'll get back to you as quick as possible. Thanks a lot. Bye.